Bernardo Espanol from Nardio.net. Welcome to Edit With Me Monday. This is going to be an awesome series that we're going to do where every week we're going to edit a new photo. We're going to have cosplay photography, landscape photography, portrait photography, and I'm going to walk you start to finish through an entire photo edit. This one will be shorter than others, but I think you'll find it interesting. Now, in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to Dropbox folder where you can download this very photo and edit along with us. So this is going to be the first photo we do here. This is a, Mer a Pink Mercy uh, from uh, Otakon 2019. And uh, this is my default Mercy skin in Overwatch. I love it so much. So when I found a cosplayer who did this and was as perfect as this woman was, I was delighted. Jazz and I took a bunch of pictures. The photo in front of you is a picture that Jasmine took. And uh, let's edit this. So this is after I did a few edits, but let's start from the beginning, all right? So let's reset this image, and this is how it looks. So let's fix this. As you can see, this is a kind of a mess. Now, we shot her uh, facing away from the windows because it was there was way too much light coming in, and then the background in the other direction was just horrible. So this is the best that we can do, and sometimes you're doing convention shots, that's what you gotta do. So whenever you're gonna go fix a photo, the first thing you gotta do is uh, set the lens up. Fix the lens. Now, this is Jasmine on her A6500 using her Tamron 28-75 lens. Two clicks and that fixed a lot already. Next, I like to do this with Sony cameras, but I'm going to add a little bit of blue saturation here. Let's say 14. Trust me, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out. Now, the temperature is a little wonky, so let's... Uh, bring this toward blue a little bit Let's say 50 that looks good all right Tint is a little wonky. Alright. Definitely need to brighten this up a little bit. Up the shadows a bit. Okay, get rid of those blacks a little bit. I, as bright as this looks color-wise, I kind of want to punch it even more. So, let's go four. So, that's looking okay. Now let's do, I, I kind of want to brighten this up some, but I kind of, let's do, let's see, radial gradient. So this is just going to affect everything in, like, okay, so radial gradient, as you can see, I just opened a big old circle. And what happens is it only ch affects things in this area. If you want to flip it, you can hit invert. But right now we just want to hit this area. And I kind of want to brighten her up and play with her a little bit more in here, but not play with the background too much. Because as you can see, the more we brighten things, the more blown out it gets, and it gets a little wonky. You hit O to get rid of the screen, to get rid of the red cast and then let's see we're gonna brighten her up a little bit more yeah I know it seems a little bit bright but trust me it's kind of crazy when you put this on Instagram how uh, dark things get okay let's drop those blacks a little bit more on her okay so, huge, huge difference already. Now, I want to do something about that blown out back on. She's the star here. We're going to make sure she's one shine and brightest. So, I'm going to create a new mask, select subject, invert it. Here we go. Hit O. And we're going to drop those highlights. Let's nuke them to the ground. Boom, 100%. That looks much better. 
now that we're done here, I actually do want to zoom in a bit. Right, new mask, brush. The 6500 can be a bit noisy. I'm just going to try to soften this up a little bit more. Probably won't even focus too much once we turn this into an image for Instagram, but we'll see. Looks fine. I'll detexture. Let's take 33%. Take it to. Yeah, that's cool. 46%. Fine. Let's uh, go with the eyes. Another brush application. Let's. It's always so interesting on a bright day or on a bright con. You think the eyes would pop a little bit more, but they don't. They're so used to looking at anime characters whose eyes are just completely unreal. And if you actually saw eyes like that in real life, you'd freak out because they're glowing. But that's kind of how you want to make your photos if you're doing cosplay anime stuff. All right, let's see our difference here. Huge difference. Okay. Oh, go back and hit Y, get rid of that. Now let's see what we want to do. There's a t few tiny blemishes in the face I want to get rid of. But, uh, dun dun dun. Yeah, we're going to sharpen these eyes a little bit more because, again, for Instagram, you kind of want to go crazy with this. Which I know sounds nuts, but that's how the world works on the internet. I'm going to do this area up here too. Really want to make sure all the features of the eye pop. Texture, one, clarity, three. I know this seems insane, but trust me. Five, done. Bam! Those eyes really pop here now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. So, I think this is okay. Let's take this. Actually, let's do one more thing here. Detail to those wings. That clarity that. Let's see what that clarity does. Okay, and then up the saturation just a scotch. 13. Okay. That's done. Now. Let's take this into Photoshop. I'm going to right click, edit in, Adobe Photoshop. Cool. Okay, so hit the magnifying glass, zoom in, and we're just going to take care of a few tiny things. Don't really even need to do this because she's so ridiculously gorgeous, but let's just clean this up a little bit. And most of these things you won't see unless you zoom in, but sometimes on Instagram I like to do those uh, zoom in slide images, the carousel, and uh, that's when you want to make sure you have everything as flawless as possible. I always find it interesting that sometimes when I'm doing an interview with somebody or shooting them, they look like complete perfection to me. Then I go back and I look at my photos and the camera just catches things your eyes don't. Like for me, when I talk to somebody, I'm usually staring right into their eyes. So I don't really pick up too much of like, you know, things on the face. I mean, I can see overall she's gorgeous. I can see that the cosplay is great. I can see the makeup is fun. 
but like as far as blemishes go, for the most part, I miss them. I don't know. It's just how I am. What about you? Let's see. Little bit of sweat there, hair. I don't know if I can get rid of that. I could try. First, we'll do this. Actually, not bad. Great. And then we'll. I think she also has some reflective stuff on her face. You've seen these little things happen, and I think some of it got on her head and her other parts. So that's what that is. Okay. Now let's look around the image a bit. Nothing that really bothers me, except that car. Can we get rid of this? Let us see. Select it. Oh, I love you, Photoshop. I love you so much. Magic, the magic. I'll, I'll try to get rid of that in a second. Now, this is the hard one. I am not sure if this is going to work, but we can hope. We can pray. Oh, wait, wrong one. harsh things about going to a convention you almost never have great places to shoot you know what I'm actually better with this than I was with the other one let's zoom out that is kind of better now let's see if we can do something about this the squeaky chair sorry Beautiful. Again, when you're zoomed in on this stuff, you're just going to be looking at her, so. It's not perfect, perfect, but yeah. That is much better. That is much better. Okay. I'm kind of wondering if I want to brighten her face a bit more. But I'm not seeing anything I want to edit here. Can I close that off? Let's see if I can fix this. Oh, Velcro is the bane of many cosplayers. Mm, I mean, kind of better, but no. So right now I'm just giving it more area to fill in with. And then I'm going to remove all this pink. Now you can see as I do these steps, this side, the preview side, changes. So since I'm getting rid of the pink, it's uh, now focusing on what I highlighted. Let 
material like that to work with. Let's see. All right, that's much better. Yeah, a little zigzaggy, but that's fine. All right, so file save. Close that out. Oh, oh, oh still, close, still saving. I always forget to look down here. All right, so here we are. Now, we're going to do that little bit of lightning I mentioned I wanted to do before. Now let's see how it looks first, because, oh, let's move this down. It's not blocking her. I just want to lighten this a little bit more. No, it's the wrong one. So, that from that, give us a reset, hit Y, we could do this before, after, before, after, before, I love doing this, I'm sorry, <laughs> after, so, as you can see, the area around here warps a little bit. That's the lens correction. We can fix the, 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 the temperature by adjusting that, and the same with the tint a little bit. We cleaned up the cars in the window, and uh, a few minor blemishes really were nothing, and uh, fixed that area right here. And that is, that is awesome sauce. I would call that done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you like, please like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff.